the book of Luke, chapter 1, beginning at verse number 26. Amen. Once you get there, signify by saying word and stand to your feet. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Expect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Expect. Expect the great. Expect the great. Amen. Amen. Expect the great. Amen. Amen. Expect the great. Amen. Luke chapter 1, beginning at verse number 26. And it says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art, thou that art highly favored. Yes. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Hallelujah. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And then he said unto her, Fear not, Mary, thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. Yes. He shall reign over the house of Jacob forever yes. and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Amen. Then Mary said unto the angel how shall this be seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also the holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Yes. And behold, thy cousin, Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her, who was called barren. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Yes, and the angel departed from her. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. Well, the message today that is entitled, Finding Favor with God. <laughs> Come on, now. Finding favor with yes, God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord God, today for your grace and yes, your mercy and your love, yes. Lord God. You have been so awesome to us, Father yes. God. Thank you you God. brought us, Father God, from a mighty long way. Yes. You brought us, Father yes. God, through dangers seen and unseen, yes. Father God. Yes. You calmed our hearts, Father God. You yes. moved yes. in ways, Father God, that many folk didn't understand. So, Father yes. God, speak to us, Father God, today yes. through your word. Yes, and we honor you, we thank you, we give you glory. Yes, Lord. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. In the name amen. of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Finding favor yes. with God. Amen. All I can say is, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. 2016 yes. is almost over. Yes. Thank you, God. I mean, it's just seemed like we was just having New Year's. Amen. And what a year it has been. Amen. Glory to God. What a year. Yes. I don't know about y'all, but 2016 was something special. Something different. A whole lot of different kind of stuff happened. A lot of people come in your life, and a lot of people went out your life. Amen. Got some new stuff. Amen. Some stuff broke down. Got rid of some 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 some, some old stuff. Amen. 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 And it's been a joy to watch how God unfolds each day. Amen. 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 To watch how he works out things in my life and in y'all's lives. Yes. Amen. Yes. And in those that be around us. Amen. Amen. To be able to watch your family members and friends and co-workers go through what they go through. Yes. Yes. And how they go through it. Amen. Amen. So a whole lot of times we, we can watch them and learn what not to do. 
Amen. Because a lot of times, see, our, our friends, family go through stuff that we may have went through or may be going through. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you got to understand that if we watch them now, what? They watch, they watch they you. Why? Oh, yeah. right. Because you, you the Christian. Yeah, you enjoy going to go to church. Right. You know, you shouldn't be tripping. Amen. You know, yeah. if your God all that, yeah. why you tripping for? Yeah. Why you all? Why you ran your hands? I'm, oh Lord, gee, oh Lord, I don't know what. I, what? I, th I, I, I thought you went to church. I do, but 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 but, but I need God to move today. <laughs> They scratch their head like, dang, if God will move for her, he gonna move for me. Wow, they don't need me coming to church. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful how you respond. Yeah. Cause folk are watching us. Yeah. See? And they watch us real close. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's been a joy watching God as he unfolds. Things in my life. It's been it's been exciting and been kind of testy to have matured enough not to panic when things go haywire or some things come up short. Amen. Hallelujah. It's, it's been the best and the worst. 2016 of being a husband, being a father. Being a, a pastor, being a brother, being a son, being a business owner, and most of all, just being me. Just being a person. Because, because we got all these different hats that we wear, you know. Some of y'all, y'all wives, y'all mothers, y'all somebody's sister, somebody's daughter. Amen. And then also, you who you are. Now everybody's got all these expectations that, you know, that, that they want to put on you. And you got your own expectations of what you want to do with your life. Amen. They got to do with what they talking about. Amen. And so, come on, y'all, you got to hear me there. And so, so many times, we have to make adjustments based on what somebody else thinks about you. And you forget to adjust for yourself. Yes. Oh, y'all hear me. So that's where a lot of our frustration comes in at. Amen. Because we trying to please everybody else. And then get frustrated because you ain't get, you don't get no satisfaction. Amen. What about me, God? <laughs> don't nobody care about me. But you gotta take time out for yourself. You gotta have some me time. You gotta carve out time in the day for you. Yeah, yeah. All that rushing around and trying to get your hair done and brush your teeth and honey, I need something to eat. Mama! What? Huh? Then it's time to go to bed. And you ain't all day clothes. You ain't need this. This thing you know, you get there at 2 o'clock in the morning trying to get stuff done. Oh, I'm going off at 5. You get 3 hours of sleep. And you go to work, you go to work the next day and the boss is looking at you crazy. Can I, can I get amen? Amen. 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 Mm. Some, somebody say ouch. 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 Amen. Amen. See, having to deal with our own personal expectations and goals that we set for ourselves, this has been a historic year and an exciting journey. Amen. And as we have journeyed together this past year, as I have watched up close and from afar, most of you, for the most part, you all have allowed God to turn you and make and shape you into who you are now. Amen. 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 And some have left for their personal reasons. And that's all right. Amen. Because it's their personal choice. Amen. Amen. But we that are here, not right now, are in for an exciting time. Amen. For the ride of our lives 
is ahead of us. Amen. 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 As I said, the journey ahead is about to get very exciting with, with what God is doing in and around us. <clears throat> but nothing can compare to the journey that God took Joseph and Mary on. Amen. Amen. I don't know about y'all. That was a journey. Amen. And Gabriel told me, Gabriel, that, you, know, you know, the archangel, he told Mary that she had found favor with God. Oh, my God. I don't know about y'all, but when I read that, and it says that the that old Mary, you done found favor with God. Now, read this, I'll be like, wait a minute, hold on, God. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What, what 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 this got all in this time here for, for you before you get to congratulate me and stuff? <laughs> What's the catch here? Right. Hey, Amen. <laughs> and and she wanted to know how how and what that meant. And what it meant was that everything in her life was about to change. And it affected everyone in her life. And how life and history would be altered from that moment that she and Gabriel had that conversation. Amen? Amen. Lord Jesus. Go back to verse 26. Luke 1 and 26. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Luke 1 and 26. It says, And in the sixth month, the angel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin. Promised or espoused to a man, engaged to a man whose name was Joseph mm -hmm. of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in under her, and he just showed up out of the air and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Mm. Yeah. Amen. And when she saw him, she was troubled at what he said. Amen. And casting her mind. That's a different kind of greeting. What amount of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, fear not. Because he saw fear in her face. You would too if angels showed up at it all up in your face. Amen. Now Gabriel was an archangel. I mean that joke was big, big joke big old wings, and you know, and you know, just Swing out of nowhere. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son. And he's telling her, he's telling her this stuff. Now, I mean, you know, he didn't ask the look on her face. And she's trying to figure out, you know, what all this going to entail here. And shall call his name Jesus. I already picked the name out for my baby. Hold up, man. <laughs> Pick that, wait a minute, I got a name. I already got a name picked up for my baby. You know, you know, come on, man. Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> you have a name, Jesus? What kind of name is that? Lord have mercy. Lord. I, I, come on, man. <laughs> Verse 32. And, 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 and he shall be what? Great. And shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give him. Unto the give him unto him the throne of his father David, and, she, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there shall be no end. Amen. Now, just imagine that you're going through your daily routine, and then an angel shows up talking about you have favor with God. And because you have found favor with God, you're gonna get pregnant. And not have sex. You're going to birth God. You're going to call his name Jesus. God going to give him the throne of David. He's going to rule forever. And his kingdom shall never end. Mm. Now what kind of conversation is that to have when the door the first time I meet you? Right. <laughs> Come on now. Because all I was doing was washing dishes. Right. And I said you show up. Mm. So Mary just experienced a suddenly from God. Right. And those suddenlies just happened. No warning, no hint, no leak from the inside. Just bang! Amen. Suddenly. Now you're going to be the mother of God. Amen. Amen. 
that is what favor is all about. Amen. And that is why we have to live our lives according to the word of God. Amen. Amen. We have to be obedient and trust the process that God has put forth. Amen. See, so, so many of us, see, we don't trust the process. Amen. 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 See, when, when God is doing something, mm. and, he, and now, especially when he done sent you somebody special. I ain't just talking about no angel. Does the, the somebody show up in the life and, in your life and say, no, God told me to tell you this. Amen. Amen. And so, first thing we do, we so skeptical. Mm. And, we, and we the church folk. Mm. We read stuff in the Bible all the time that, that God sends people to two people and gives a message from him. Mm. We're like, what am I going to do with that? Mm. I, know you, I know you from God. Trust the process. Amen. If what they said comes true, then what they did, they was right telling you. Amen? Amen. Now, I, don't, I don't have problems. I don't about, look, God going to bless you with a car. You know, God big old house. And, no, all prophecy ain't always good. Amen. Can I, can, can I get an amen? Amen. Sometimes we, sometimes we got to change our ways. Amen. Amen. Some of it's good. I mean, you know, we all want the good stuff. But see, I've learned that when somebody comes to me and tell me I need to change some things, that means that... <laughs> If I got to change some things, that means that there's something coming my way. And this change is blocking that thing from coming to me. That comes with maturity. Y'all need to hear me. Some things need to straighten out. So God can get his thing to you. Get this thing off from getting pieced off. Can't no blessing get through that. Straighten that thing out. Amen. Hallelujah. See, <laughs> Gabriel appeared to Zacharias and Mary. He also appeared to Daniel 500 years before. Amen. Now, Mary was a poor young female. But understand, we cannot limit God's choice because of your circumstances. Amen. Mm. Come on now. He can use you if you trust him. See, Mary's submission led to our being saved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Who has gotten saved because you submitted? Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Be honest. <laughs> we have to wait patiently for God to finish yeah. his plan in our lives. Because God has plans for you. Yeah. Plans to have an ending yeah. that God expects. And that's good for you. Amen. 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 Remember his thoughts for us are not what we think should happen to us. Amen. What do you think about us? Ain't what we thinking about us. Right. Amen. They, they, they're, two, they're two separate things. Ooh. So what we gotta do is we gotta get lined up with what he's thinking about us. Amen. So what he's thinking about can come to us. Mm. Amen. Amen. See, Mary never thought she would be the mother of Jesus. Never thought that she was being chosen by God to give birth. To a child without knowing a man. Mm -hmm. She didn't grow up wanting to be ridiculed. She didn't grow up wanting her finance, her fiance to be threatened to leave her. She didn't grow up wanting her son to be rejected and murdered. Amen. 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 But understand that this, that this miracle birth of Jesus is hard to believe for some people. Amen. You got, folk, you got so many folk right now trying to put down what has been proven. Not just in the Bible, but in the history books. Mm -hmm. he, see, he's just not the Jesus of the Bible. He's historical Jesus. Right. Unsaved folk talk about this man. Uh, yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about back in that day. Mm -hmm. Oh, I seen that joker, man. And they talk about that in the history books and books ain't got to do with this Bible. Amen. 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 I see them. I see the murals. Amen. Folk, right, folk, folk have written about that. Amen. Now, this miracle birth is so hard to believe, but by his birth, mm. and because we ought to use his name, people are healed, demons are cast out and removed, and sins are forgiven. 
His birth is a blessing. Yes, now, if your body has been healed because somebody prayed for you, or you prayed for yourself, it don't matter what nobody say. Amen. They say what they want you. Mm. I know what I feel. Yes. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I know my life didn't change since I've been saved. Amen. Amen. I don't care what nobody else got to say. Call me crazy if you want to. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but I'm saved. <laughs> and I'm alive. Oh, yes, Are y'all hear me today? Yes, See, there was a time when I didn't think I was going to make it. Oh, he had that gun in my head. Glory to God. And I called on God. Thank you. Thank you. you know how we do? Oh, Lord, I ain't getting drunk no more, Lord. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it no more, Lord God. Get me out of this, Lord God. Oh, Jesus. You don't even know him. Oh, Jesus. Uh, what's his name? Jesus. Oh, Lord. Jesus. My Lord. My Lord. You can't tell me he ain't real. Amen. I was in them streets hiding that dope, chasing women, getting high, staying out all night, and messing around and got stuck. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Lord, Lord, have Lord have mercy. Did you, did she pray for me, boy. I need, I need prayer. Lord have mercy. That joke had that gun to my head, boy. Lord, I was like, Lord, I'm sweating bullets. And you hope they didn't pull that trigger. I said, Lord, if you, if, if, if you save me, Lord, I'll serve you the rest of my life. Amen. And I audibly heard God say, Ben. <laughs> if you're from the streets, you know what that means. Right. 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 Me, right. me, right. me, I got you. Right. I had no idea what that meant. But see, God had set somebody next to me in my barbershop. Right. They walked me through that whole thing. Right. That whole process. Right. Every question I had, he answered. Right. And the fact of the matter is, when I hired him to cut hair, I didn't know he was a, I didn't know he was a preacher. Mm. Oh, well, I'm under the truth. That's a far that joke. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But understand that God puts people in our pathways. We don't always, you don't always get understanding, you don't always get told why they in your life and, and most of the time they are a irritant. Oh, can I get an amen? Amen. Because the person that led you to salvation probably was an irritant to you. And the person God is sending you to you will be an irritant to them. Oh, y'all better hear me. Right? Glory to God. It ain't easy being the one God has sent you to somebody like They don't want to hear nothing that you got to say. Don't want nothing you got. Don't want you round. Glory to God. Oh, here she comes. Here he comes. Oh, Lord. That's a lie. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Y'all better hear me today. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Go to verse 34. <laughs> I know, boy. I know. We got a whole lot of irritant in this room. <laughs> Y'all got to go wreck up somebody's life. Yes, Lord. Or somebody's been wreck up your life. What is going on? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Hallelujah. <laughs> First of all, and, and, and then, 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 then said Mary unto the angel. Oh, she yeah. talking back to the angel now. Amen. See, see women ain't scared. Amen. Amen. First of all, you in my house, Joy. Okay. <laughs> you in my kitchen. Amen. Disturb my dishwashing time. Okay. <laughs> Dang, you do what you want. Anyway, come on. <laughs> This said Mary to the angel, Nick rolling everything. Wait a minute. How shall this be? Mary had to be a sister. Right. Had to be. Yeah. Listen, 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 y'all listen. Then, then, then Mary said to the angel, uh, how shall this be? See, and I know not a man. Where, where, where the man at? <laughs> Wait a minute. And the angel said, hold up, Mary. 
And he said, the Holy Ghost. Woo. Holy who? <laughs> the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the, the highest shall overshadow thee, and, and therefore also the holy thing which shall be born, what? Of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, that cousin Elizabeth, she knocked up too. She also conceived in her old age, a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called what? Barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel what? He, he got him through. He, he, I'm done with her. Send me somewhere else, Lord. I'm, I'm through, I'm through, Lord. I don't, do, I don't want you to do with her, but I'm out of here. Mm. <laughs> I've done my part. <laughs> Mary looking for that. Mary looking for that dude. Who you talking about? Mm -hmm. Amen. See, God is yeah. Seriously, God is trying to get us to understand that if He can get a a barren woman pregnant, mm. and He can get a baby from a girl who never had sex, I'm talking about a virgin. He's proving to us that nothing is impossible yes, with him. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Too many are trying to disprove the virgin birth mm -hmm. rather than embrace it yes. and trust the impossible to work in their lives. Mm. See, we're too negative. Amen. See, we, we think it's always something up. Uh, what you want and uh, uh, how that going to happen. When God trying to show us, come on now, that time after time after time after time after time after time, he's proven himself to be who he is and he can do what he said he can do. Yes, amen. 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 So, 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 don't worry about trying to disprove. Embrace him so the impossible can work in your life. Amen. Amen. He just didn't move a mountain. He didn't just part the Red Sea. He brought life from something dead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Elizabeth Spoon, an old 85 year old woman, got pregnant. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah. All I can say is, Mother Jack, I know you celebrated. 81 years. Oh, Another day. The game will show up, baby. Right. 
Don't get it too long. <laughs> don't, 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 don't fry no chicken. See? Take too long. <laughs> too much work with friends. I can be easy. I go down and get eight pieces of KFC. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, Lord, but this next generation, boy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have me on it. Help us, Lord Jesus. <laughs> ah, so, like I said, no matter what you're facing, God can handle it. God showed Mary that Elizabeth was pregnant. He can bring life to a barren woman. He can bring life to a virgin. Remember, Jesus was born without sin. He entered into the world through Adam. The child takes on the blood of the Father. Amen. Amen. Is it due? Is it due? Amen. Because most times, when he, on the babies trying to determine paternity, we will never catch the blood of the mother. We will catch the blood of the Father. Amen. And what, what did Mark always say? You are the Father. <laughs> Amen. 99.9%. Amen. 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 See, but, but Jesus didn't, didn't, didn't take on the, 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 the sin of, of Adam. Amen. Jesus was born holy because as Adam was created sinless. The difference between being Adam, he disobeyed. Jesus obeyed. And by his act of obedience, Jesus was able to to bear the consequences of sin and become our propitiation, our replacement, and make us acceptable to God. So, as we celebrate in this season the birth of Jesus, we must celebrate what his birth meant. Not just that he was born, but because he was born, we have the right to be healed set free and delivered. Yes, Mary found faith with God and so can you. That's the reason to celebrate and that is the reason for the season. Amen? Amen. Close your Bibles and let's give God a hand and praise in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's stand to our feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're here today and you're facing any situations that's too big for you, something that's impossible, something that's got you thrown off, something that's something that's that, that you gotta face, ask you to come. Would, 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 would you come this morning? Something that you need to be brought before God in prayer, would you come today? Is there anyone today? Anything in, in, anything facing you? Ever come? Ruby come. Here it comes. Amen. Nigel, you